Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ClickSense. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to add title to your charts and also legend. So let's open our project. So let me open the Superstore cells, one which we created recently. So you will see, uh, so whenever you open your project, all your sheets will be displayed here so let's our open uh, we'll click on the our sheet where we have created four charts first is profit versus pro product name and then we have product category and then we have the discount provided and the we got how much profit it is on and the also the customer segment versus order quantity so let's edit and add some title to this uh, charts. In order to add or edit any of these charts, you have to click on the edit button at top right. Then here, in order to add the title to charts, so you will see the click to add title. Click on that button and you can add such as profit. by product similarly you can add the title for the other charts order quantity by segment then we have it's a pie chart so simply give the pie chart for product category and then we'll add the profit versus discount so you can give any name as per your business need and you can save it okay now you can visualize all the charts so let's add some legend okay so I would like to add the legend to this chart which is pie chart so select that chart okay so this feature I will explain it shortly so let's edit it you can click it and click on the charts now but I want to edit its original phase not only just furniture section so what I'll do I will go back and let me let me do one thing uh, let's add here and if you see I just want to cancel this furniture section click on and you will go to the original tab original charts so I would like to edit it so click on the edit and let's add a legend to this chart you know to add the legend at the right hand side you can see various option you can see the data sorting add-ons appearance then we have general we also have the presentation suppose I want donut format so you can create a donut format also the pie chart in the form of donut and let's so we have the colors also if you want to choose any other color uh, suppose single color or by dimension means the color will changes if the dimension is different by major if the if you see the by major the higher percentage have the darker color and the percentage get uh, the color get fed in as the as the percentage or the major change major quantity changes but this doesn't look good for this pie chart so I will use by uh, use uh, dimension one which will give me little highlighted colors so this is one task and here you see the color and legend so that means let me shorten this and here show legend it's off so when you turn on the legend the system will automatically generate a legend for it so if you see the blue color for office supplies yellow color for technologies and furniture for the pink so you, even you have the control to legend also if you want left right 
or bottom how do you like to see it accordingly you can add means as per your space uh, availability you can add those legends accordingly let me add it at the right corner so it looks good so this is the, this is the way you can add the legend and you can change the color next thing let me show you some presentation section in the presentation section we have seen this pie chart but if you choose any other chart this presentation section will also varies now um, let me show you how to make these labels available how this office supplies technology and furniture are coming so if you see the dimension labels you can turn on or turn off so at the top if you see the this is the product category if you don't want this product category name you can just disable this dimension label so product category will go value labels if you see this 20% 24% for each respective product category you can make it only values or you can mention the share means percentage and if you have the none means those values will not be displayed so you can make accordingly as per your requirement I will uh, make available this uh, auto means I will add this product category this is done this is product section presentation section then we have general section in the general section we can add the expression to customize the components of this chart we will have uh, we will add some special tutorial on this expression so you can add the title subtitle and footnote we will see that how to add then we have the appearance add-ons if you have any add-ons then we have sorting so if you want to sort on the sum it will be first if you want to sort on the product it will be the second so if you change this so accordingly it will sort but in this chart it will not helpful it will be helpful uh, like this bar chart we will explain there the sorting more appropriately then we have data so if you want to add any alternative dimensions you have the opportunity here to add that for example I want to add in this uh, let's see the discount if I add the discount now let me save it okay so when you save it a uh, alternative dimension you can see here so you can choose here and you will see the discounts how it is distributed but the discounts and the uh, the product category is not directly related means for furniture uh, office supplies and technology those are not restricted with the discount there are other components which are given uh, they have provided the discount so in this case it is not appropriate to provide the alternative dimension so let me edit and uh, let me show let me edit and let me remove this okay so for now um, here you you can add the product category similarly you have the add dimensions and uh, let me just click extra okay L what we'll do we'll keep it as it is and we will show the other thing which is more important than this just delete i just save it now we are going to edit this bar chart which is how the more features to show all of you so again click on the edit button select the chart then uh, we'll add uh, some appearance so if you see in the appearance section we have the data sorting add-on appearance and in presentation section we have the horizontal or vertical if you make it horizontal the chart will be displayed in the horizontal format if it is vertical then it will be split in the vertical format S scrolling if you want scrolling at end means uh, alignment actually it was 
stop word or top down word you will see then uh, next section we are going to see is coloring color allegiant so I will make color of what is auto and we will customize now currently it is just single color if you want to change by dimension then accordingly the color changes I would prefer like this if the major so if you see the color the shades are going top to top means from dense color to fine colors so I'll keep as it is then we will add the legend also oh ok so profit is some here that legend is uh, already shown um, if you want to see this and they don't have legend it will automatically create it means what are the legend we are seeing at the right hand side this is the major it is high dark color and this is faint color so this is just colors available then we have x-axis if you want to change the label of the title suppose you just want labels only so you can see the values get changed at the x-axis so let me put the both labels and title so it will have the labels plus title now let's see the word sections here we have the alternatives also add alternative dimension but this chart don't require any alternative dimension now we will show the adding the alternative dimension to this order quantity and we will see how it works click on that add alternative let's me add the uh, discount and um, let's change some appearance in the presentation I will show something like this and let's add some colors let me add spy major or if you want uh, expression right now we will not touch the expression in upcoming session we will do that and I think we are good so let's save it and see what are the things we have made available so now for this uh, order uh, for this chart we made uh, charts available for the discount also so let's go and check out how it differs if I get the discount so this is the discount category let me close the just uh, ok super sell I will remove this product name so that I will get original chart so these are the discounts available for the per quantity if I get the customer segment then accordingly changes now the one more interesting thing I would like to show you even if you just select one of the attributes the other attribute is simultaneously get changed see the other chart which are directly related to this component will get changed so here I can see what I changed I changed the product name global Troy. so if I just remove that it will go to the original now let's click on the office supplies when I click office supply the chart accordingly get changes in all these components so it's for the business it's very easy to understand and see that the, how the data is moving accordingly so these are the things for the today's session I hope you will understand how to add the label also how to add the legend to your chart thank you for watching my video and have a nice time